Hello Virgo, I'm giving your April 2018 reading and this is for, uh, it's going to be a little early but not too much early. I just wanted to get you prepared and I wanted to do it before Mercury and Retrograde kicked in on the 22nd of March. So I hope your March is going well so far. Hmm. I want to really concentrate on you again before I start bringing them out. Nothing major, more or less Queen of Pentacles or the Princess of Pentacles actually. That's your element, your your energy. So I need a reading for Virgo, April 2018. Virgo, April 2018. Virgo, April 2018. General reading for Virgo. Ooh. Not making a choice. You're not willing to, uh, you narrow down your options, I should say. Let's put that over here. I want that out for some reason. Something's telling me to keep that out. Narrowing down the options. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what the overall energy or the beginning energy. Queen of Discs reverse. Not feeling really balanced in April. Maybe feeling a little off settled. Maybe you're uh, a little short tempered sometimes, but not too much. You're just not yourself. Not yourself. Well, uh, new, uh, Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Swords crossing it. I'd like to try to tell you what these are. are these are. Uh, nine of uh, Wands, Strength upright as your goal. Foundation, three of cups reversed. The past, a wish. And the three of swords reversed. Now this says here the seven of cups is reversed and I see a seven of uh, or the three of swords uh, reversed. I'm thinking someone is not making going forward with possibly someone else, maybe even a third party situation. Not always. They're just not really looking for different options. I've seen a lot of that in April for the signs. But I'd like to find out for uh, Virgo, April 2018, why is the Seven of Pentacles there with the Six of Swords crossing it? Seven of Pentacles is someone who feels like well, they're actually trying to figure out how to get something done, how to work something, because maybe something they worked on in the past didn't work out. They were trying to get figure something out, and they're continuing to figure something out, how to move on for troubled waters, but you may not have figured it out at the time, the subject of April, just during that time. I need to find out why the Seven of Pentacles is there for Virgo. Why are you there for Virgo? Oop, that pop up. Collaboration has to do with possibly finances, money. Maybe something didn't work out on a job, finances. It could be even with a partner, maybe it didn't work out. But I'm seeing here that you were trying to move on from maybe some kind of financial difficulty. Maybe you didn't have a new start, a new beginning you thought you would have, you know, moving on from troubled waters. Now, as so, a uh, foundation, you got the Three of Cups. You're not celebrating anything with anyone, or maybe you're celebrating too much. we got to find out. I need another card. Why is the Three of Cups there reversed for Virgo? Huh, you're in your head. Why is everybody a little depressed? It's the first time, though, I got this Nine of Swords. This is someone having sleepless nights, and they're not going out with people and having fun. Not at all. Now, in the past, you did. Virgo, you had happiness in the past. You had the Nine of Cups. I mean, what's, can you tell me more about the Nine of Cups? I need another card for the Nine of Cups for Virgo in the past. Nine of Cups for Virgo in the past. Ace of Cups. It's in reverse, though. Maybe you didn't wish to have any new beginning with something. You put a halt probably to something that was something you wanted, or vice versa. These energies can be mixed up with somebody else, maybe want a partner. But I'm thinking King of Cups could be with a water energy, and that is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So 
here is saying you got your wish, but the Ace of Cups is reversed with this King of Cups. Maybe you did not wish to have an offer with this King of Cups. And this could be that they don't want it with you, but this is your card reading. I'm going to say it's you because it's your reading. Uh, you got the Nine of uh, Wands as your goal, as strength. You're regaining strength. That is your goal. And a lot, oftentimes, people get that strength back when they go for their goal. They actually get that goal as the outcome. Why is the Nine of uh, Wands I'm just popping these out? Yeah, someone regaining, shows you here, your goals are regaining strength, um, boost your intuition, and don't, not exactly make a decision yet. Or maybe is that you refuse to even decide on anything from this subject line, and you maybe you're keeping it hidden, you're keeping, you know, you're keeping it to yourself. You're becoming a mystery. You're regaining strength. People are going to probably be asking you, what's wrong with you? What's in your head lately? Now, as the outcome, the near outcome for April, this is say April, and I'm making sure I read it that way because if I read it six months in advance, people get so upset. Um, or they don't understand it could be long term, but I'm using this as short term and hopefully it stays that way. Um, you got the Three of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords in reverse. And that's uh, coming over heart, getting over heartbreak a lot of times, but it depends on the card that's with it. So I got to go to clarifying. Three of Swords reverse. Why are you there in the near future? Chariot. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're getting out of that heartache situation. Whatever caused you heartache or distressed you, you're moving forward. You got both hands, you know, reins in both hands and in complete control. You're not going to move, you're not going to lose focus. You are going to regain that strength. Need another card for the chariot. Oops, yep. Six of Pentacles. Good card. Keep them ba uh, card. Keep them balanced. Keeping things, uh, in order, able to handle your money and situations. So whatever failure you occurred, because the Seven of Pentacles sometimes is failure as a subject. Subject. I wish I could talk. I'm getting tired. Uh, you're coming out of it. You're getting over whatever heartbreak occurred, whether it been a relationship, jobs, whatever it was. You're coming out of it. You're moving forward and you're regaining balance. So I'm going to give it advice a card, even though... You pretty much got everything together in, in April. It may be a little bumpy when you first go in, but looks like you're coming out of it, Virgo. I need a vice card for Virgo. I need a vice card for Virgo. If it's a negative card, you are to turn that around. If it's a positive card, you move with it. You Don't throw a monkey wrench in it. Vice card for Virgo. Can I get a vice card for Virgo? Moving forward with a passion. Knight of uh, Wands. You're not, nothing's stopping you. The universe says move forward with a passion. It's giving you that permission. It's letting you know you can do it, and you are. So, moving forward with passion. That's you, Virgo. I'll talk to you later. Bye.